Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to welcome you back to the 2015 AccuStats Make It Happen 10 Ball Invitational. Uh, we're in today number one. We have one match up left. Uh, my name is Scott Smith. We're here at Sand Castle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. And there'll be four days of round robin play. And on the final day on Sunday, the gentleman with the best two records will play in the final matchup. And at uh, this time, we'd like to introduce the uh, matchup for the 9.30 time frame. It's the new guard versus the old guard. Representing the new guard from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, please welcome four-time U.S. Open nine ball champion, Mr. Shane Van Boning. Shane Van Boning, thank you. And representing the old guard, five-time U.S. Open nine ball champion. He resides in Greensboro, North Carolina. A warm welcome, please, for the mighty Earl, Earl Strickland. <laughs> Gentlemen, you may lag for the first break. Accustad's Video Productions presents from Edison, New Jersey, at Stan Castle Billiards, the Make It Happen 10 Ball Invitational. Along with Danny DeLiberto, I'm built in Cardona, and this will be the final match of day number one. Earl Strickland and Shane Van Boning. These two players really don't need, you know, <laughs> to be uh, announced because they certainly have done that throughout the years, especially Earl Strickland five-time U.S. Open champion, several world titles under his belt, won just about every major you can win. Shane Van Boning, you know, arguably the best 10-ball player in the world, four-time U.S. Open champion, and he is playing super, super strong right now, Shane Van Boning. Both of these players have already played one match today. Earl Strickland lost the first match against Jason Shaw. Shane Van Boning won a very convincing match against Mr. Kevin Chang, uh, the current U.S. Open champion. I believe the score was like 13 to 4 or 5 in that match. Well, it's one nothing. One swing. He went on the break. Well, Danny, if you say so. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't here for the uh, for the rules, but if you say so, I think you That means you're fifty. You're fifty percent. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we've been notified. Some tournaments you don't win in the break, but this one you do. Well, let's see if that was a fluke. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to do it again. <laughs> it didn't even move this time. Well, let's see it uh, in rack number one for all you people at home. Here it is. Oh, it got kissed in. Look at here. Look at here. A double kiss. Oh, that's a pull shot. That would have been tough to call even after it happened. Yeah, what is he going to do with the 6-9? Try to hit it right now if you could. Wow. That's what he did. Wow. How's that? Aren't you going to applaud? Come on. Folks, that was a magnificent shot. <laughs> Talk about a shot. Amazing how a guy can control the cue ball and stroke it that well to do, to do what he did. Yeah, he's making it look easy, I tell you that. He's really making it look easy. 
got that long, fluid stroke. He uh, hits the cue ball so accurately. I think, you know, uh, in retrospect, as you go back through the years, Danny, and I know there's a lot of years that you've watched players play pool, you have to rank this guy up there among the best of ever. Top ever. three ever. Yeah, you have to rank him up there. And you know what's real big? He is consistent. I mean, he keeps the intensity. It's tough to do. You know, he's in the finals or wins it. You can't keep that up day in, day out right. over the years. And he keeps it. That's the real. That's right. That's special. I think exactly what you said. I think that to stay on top is more difficult to get to the top. You can get to the top, but if you can stay on top, then you're showing something. That's that stuff to do. Well, this... This is a joke here because this guy breaks the ball so well. You know, he's undoubtedly the best the 10 ball player in the world because of his break. Well, I, 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 that's unfair to say because of his break. You know, his break has enabled him to be as successful as but he But he hits is. the cue ball so well, and oh, that's yeah. so important. Yeah. Uh, he's got himself a little bit of a shot here. Looks like he's pretty straight on the three. Yeah, he'll do something. Nothing surprises me with this guy. How's that? Oh, he didn't get the right angle. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah, he's got some... Uh, he's he's going to draw the ball, of course. He doesn't even shoot hard and the ball flies. Yeah, he's, he hits the cue ball so well. Yeah. A lot of people say, boy, what a stroke he or she has, or whoever, you know? It's all in hitting that cue ball where you want to hit it. You know? Exactly. Oh, got to get down low on that cue ball. Well, he gets his down as low as he wants to get on all his shots. He gets high as he wants to get on his shots. It's just the uncanny accuracy that that Q-tip hits that cue ball that gives him the action that he anticipates getting. And that's what's so great about this guy at the table now. But another factor is he has to love the game. Well, you know, he's a student of the game. He loves the game. He plays at every major tournament he can, every world tournament. You know, I mean, he just he has a passion for the game. He has a gift, and he's showing us all how the game's supposed to be played. And it's really great to be able to watch a guy like Van Boning play. Especially I sure Denbo. appreciate it. <laughs> Look at this. The balls are <laughs> raining in. I <laughs> mean, Strickland stopped me before this match. And you know how he talks. I mean, you got to love the guy. He said, they're breaking me out of my money. He said, they're breaking me out of my money, meaning that they're winning off the break. Jason Shaw did it in the first, first match of the, of the tournament. And obviously, you can see what's happening here. You know, his break is so powerful, not to take take anything away from his sterling play, because the guy is just a beautiful player to watch. But his break is just so powerful, you know. The big compliment is Earl says everybody's lucky. You never hear him talk about that about this guy. Look how nicely he positions the cue ball, draws it where he wants. Huh. You know, 
Strickland hasn't even made an appearance at the table. This is rack number four. Now Van Boning uses an extended cue. Strickland was the first player to use the extended cue. Van Boning was still playing with a regulation cue at that time. Now he he uh, adopted the uh, the extended cue several years ago, and since then, well, the guy's been unbeatable, just about. Van Boning wins game number four. He's got a, a six-inch extension on that cue that he uses. So with the regulation cue is 58, his cue is 64 inches. Well, they used to have specifications that you couldn't have longer than 59. In the book, you couldn't be heavier than 22. Well, I really don't uh, agree with those uh, specifications. You know. <laughs> what about the jump cues they were starting to use? They were like 10 inches long. It's nine in the side. Look at the balls are just raining into the pockets. Well, I think it's going to come to an end right well, here. He's going to go cross side with the one. Maybe we'll see a 13 and out like uh, the Johnny Archer did on Francisco Bustamante. Strickland, uh, per uh, what? Per millions, had to run 11 racks, and he did it in Texas. Can he bank? No. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty good exhibition there, running four consecutive racks. I'm no. surprised he banked that ball. I thought he'd play safe. No, he wasn't. He wasn't going to be playing safe. He doesn't want to run into the seven here. I want to try to avoid it if all possible. Because he don't want to tie it up with the eight. This is a little bit of a touchy shot here. You know, he's able to knock the five across. It's, yeah, that's table. not what he was trying to do. He would like to play shape for the six in the side, I believe, Danny. He's going he's gonna to go three rails. That'll give him... Don't tie up to seven. Yeah, that'll give him a better better angle to play shape for the seven. But since he's laid on top of the seven, now that's another story. He's not going to like this. Mm. He wants to say something real bad, too. He wants to say something real bad. What is it? Well, he's feeling unlucky, but that's not unlucky. That isn't either. Tell you what, that was a pretty good pool shot right there. Nice. Yeah, 
doesn't have to call it. Yeah, he could have made that. Might have he made could it. have made that. And he, he did. It. Shot counts. If a ball is shot real first, the, the pocket is not count, uh, called. Earl thought he had to call it. Four, uh, excuse me, five to nothing in favor of Van Boning. Number five, he needs a match five games to zero. Yeah, it's going to be tough beating this guy this tournament, I'll tell you that. If today's performances are any indication on how the rest of the tournament is going to play for this guy, he's going to go undefeated. Look how he's controlling that ball off the break. Well, he didn't make one that time. Now, funny things can happen here. If he plays the one into the nine, and he makes both the one and the nine, he may not end up with a shot on the two. I like for him to draw this ball here in case the one follows the nine in. That's where he needs to be uh, for the three where the cue ball is now. Or on the other side of the table. Near the side pocket. Oh, he's going to end up That's getting hooked. That's not getting there. No, he's going to get hooked here. Yeah. Not entirely, but... He's looking to cut this backwards in a poor ball combination. Or kick it. Yeah, kick it. He might. It might go. Because he's going to hit it on the right. Here's the shot I like. I like kicking the seven, the three into the seven. Then the three will go off the pink four and in the side. Now that's a long shot, right? Three, I don't like it. Three off the seven into the four and in the side. Nope, didn't happen. Pretty good out. Yeah, he made it look easy, didn't he? Yeah. Five to one, Van Bonick. Strickland wins game number six. <clears throat> After six games, the score is Mr. Van Boning five, Mr. Strickland one. That'll probably be my only game. Right, 
I think Strickland's going to have to start breaking him with a little more velocity. And if you notice, he isn't using that padding that he used in the, in the early session to break the balls with. So he's going to have to start hitting him a little harder. Well, he made a ball, but it he was made the a cue few ball. balls, but he lost the cue ball. See, with that extended cue, he can reach all those shots like that that are further away than uh, you would like them to be with the regulation cue. But with the extension on the cue, he can reach a lot more shots. And having that extra comfort goes a long way. Yeah, he doesn't look like he, uh, he has any problems running out. Matter of fact, he doesn't shoot any tough shots, so he doesn't... He doesn't <laughs> it's because he controls he the cue ball so well. He's, he's not that good. He doesn't make any tough shots. You know, he's making that second ball on the side. He's made it now every rack he's broken the balls. Well, he can't see the one. Oh, he's bluffing. <laughs> Actually, I think he's going to push out for a shot on the one. He's going to let Strickland shoot a shot. You know, a challenging shot. Chair. Well, you got to shoot this shot. That was a poor push. One ball, cross corner. That was a poor push. And Earl passed it? Yeah. Oh, I can't never believe out of the chair. I can't believe he passed this shot. He didn't even move. Wow, he hit that so poor. Poorly. I, uh, I can't believe how poorly he hit. Look at the cue ball. What did he try to do there? I don't know. He never got out the chair. That's a pretty good shot. Yep. Even at his age, you can see the class in his game. You know that, don't you? I mean, even at his age, you know just by the way he plays and how he shoots certain shots. 
you can see that he really understands the game well. well how old is Strickland? Well, I think he's got to be getting close to 50 years old, don't you think? Yeah. to know what he's saying. Give him a microphone. do that in Europe. They break 10 ball from the rail. <laughs> he has to be talking about the break. He's, he's uh, referring to the break in some way. Whether, uh, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> you think this is funny? You're stupid. You're laughing. You don't look like it. Earl's fifty four years old. So that uh, he, uh, he's a senior. He would be old enough to play a Miserac senior tour. <laughs> well, Earl was doing something different. He switched shafts or something. You know, he's trying to hit him harder, Billy, but the stroke is not doing it. No, he's, he's lost that power in, in his break. You know, he, you know, at one time in his life, he was the biggest breaker on the planet. But he certainly doesn't have that skill now. That is a... Left him. He may draw into the 10 and try to hook him under the 7 here. Yeah, he might. Nope. Yeah, he didn't see any need for that. see it. I think he let him see it. But he's acting like he can't see it. He made it.
He's deadly. <laughs> He's just deadly. Yeah. Combination, five in the corner. He's human. He may go into the 10 here, free up the 7. Well, no need to do that. Well, I don't know. Will the 7 pass? Probably will. Yeah, it looks like from here. Yeah, it passes. That was a good shot. He wants to move the uh, gizmo there. I don't think he should move it now. It wouldn't affect anything. I don't think he should move it. Wow. Good job. Good job. He got it out of there without touching anything. He hit the 10. You know, he played pretty good in that rack, Strickland, that is. Until he got to the 10. Yeah, and that 10 wasn't like a gimme because he was on the rail with the cue ball. And it's understandable that you could miss a shot like that because of that reason. There's the nine on the side again, and the, and the five. He does have a shot on the one. No, the Not five. Came, no, the five came down far enough to, to block that shot. Shane shooting 944. Tough to beat. Strickland's not shooting real bad. That's a heck of a shot. Very nice, huh?
pretty good touch there. Yeah, he does have a real good touch, by the way, and a powerful stroke. He, as Van Boning, is another player that hits the cue ball so nice. Everybody's against you. Strickland wins game number 10 after 10 games. Scores Mr. Van Boning 7, Mr. Strickland 3. Well, the 10 almost went straight in there. And now the 8 ball is coming between the 1 ball and the cue ball. Not allowing Van Boning a shot at the 1. Now the score is 7 to 3 Van Boning. And, uh, you know, I still think that Strickland has an outside chance of winning this match. Because he's really not playing that poorly, you know. No, he's playing that very well. So if strange things start to happen here. You got to give uh, Strickland a chance here because he's playing well. Mr. Strickland has the option. Go ahead. I don't know about that push. Is he going to kick two cushions underneath the one here? Strickland passed his shot. Can Van Boning pocket the one? He's jumping. Or he's ma maybe mass saying. Oh. He jumped. He jumped pretty well. And he got position. Boy, people are getting rewarded here. This could have been better. Yeah, he needed much uh, a much flatter angle on the three. Now he's going to have to play real good speed with the cue ball. Yeah, he's playing for the fire. He's going to have to hit multiple rails here. He's playing one rail. I don't know. Look at that speed. We're seeing amazing things, Billy. You know, he's an amazing player. He would like to go for the corner here. He's going to. That'll put him in line for the six, probably where the cue ball is now. But Unless uh, he could hit the eight on the nose. Like that? Yeah, but, you know, he would have liked the other angle. Not that this is difficult, but it's just the other one was just like Yeah, he's going to go two, in. Row, two rails. Oh, he, likes using that, he likes using that inside ball 
with he a follow. He hits it very well. Sure, because like you said, he should go two rails. I thought he was as well. I don't know. Did he do okay with that shot? I don't think so. He doesn't even have an angle to go three rails and play the combination. I think he got really bad on this ball here. He did. He's going to have to show us a stroke here. He's going to do something special here. He's going to hit it with some, with some speed. And that cue ball is just going to spin around that table. The ball's not going to stop. He may play the 10 here. Play the 9, 4 cushions and the 10. Behind the back, too. He can't reach it. He can't reach it behind his back. Well, he looks like he, <laughs> he thinks he is. Yes, he can, can he? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of things here. Let's see that shot behind the back. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Made it again. <laughs> He did. The seven in the side. And that ball has been going in it's every rack. He does not have a shot. The three and the six are tied up as well, so. Oh, I thought he didn't have a shot. <laughs> he hit the paint, Billy. Wow, this guy can really, yeah, really play, yeah. Did he ask for an extension? Yeah, he's going to get it. It's automatic? Yeah. Extension is automatic. Well, I don't think this ball banks. The eight is in the way. If he has the angle for the speed of the shot, he wants to put the three behind the eight and the t cue ball behind the ten. Yeah, he did it. Well, Earl, you might as well put on a show and, and jump. <laughs> you know, have some moment of glory here. He's going to jump. No, he isn't. He's going to kick. Kick nicely, too. Why don't you get dead? Why don't you get dead? It dead. It got dead. <laughs> Look, Unbelievable. Shane is laughing. It got dead. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. <laughs> Whatever Strickland says here, it's okay with me, okay? No matter what it is, it's okay with me. <laughs> he's he's going to tell everybody Shane got lucky. Van Boney, Shane number 12. After 12 games, the score is Mr. Van Boney, 9. Mr. Strickland, 3. He, he's just sitting there taking it like, you know, nothing happened. Like, look at him. He said, he's calm, sedated. This is calm, very cool. I don't know what's going to happen when he comes to the table, but right now he's taking it pretty good. Billy, right now he's churning inside. And I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Seven in the side. Every rack, he's made that ball. That second ball, he's made every rack. Now does the two go by the eight? No. Well, two won't go. Maybe it will, but I don't think so. But he's got that billiard on the with the four, so. Yeah. So do you take a chance to try to create a pocket for the two and just roll it? Play the billiard? I don't think he could do that. No. Well, he hit it too fat. He hit it too fat. Well, he may go around the table. In other words, he may go two cushions up where the cube, where, where he's laying over now with the cue ball. No, he's going to go behind the 10. Nice shot, huh, Danny? Yep. Yep. Tough hit, too. What's Earl talking about? He's calling it anyways. He don't need to call it, but he's going to call it anyways. Made a nice hit. Did the 10 go dead again? No, but he left him a nice shot of the two. I think he's shooting. Oh, did, yeah. He's shooting the two? Yeah. Strange here. Gonna have to show us something with this shot. He's gonna draw the ball one rail. He's gotta hit this ball really nice. That's pretty nice. I tell you what, <laughs> that's pretty good. Once again, once again. Well, he said, I can't get back this time, but I can sure cut this nine thinly enough. A nice speed. Perfect. That's how the game's played. That's how the game's played. 10-3, Van Boney. 10-3, and like you said, Earl's not playing that bad. No. Voting wins game number 13. He now leads the match 10 games to three. Race to 13. Nine in the side, but it didn't go. But he made other things. Well, he only made uh, four balls.
He's got a shot at the one. Tough speed. Is he going to roll this in and hold it? Well, he's going to go toward the nine, looks yeah. like. So that's a natural ball to go toward the nine and see what happens. Huh. Marginal whether or not he can cut it in. I think he can cut it in. Yeah, I believe Let's he take could. a look at the cue ball. He could do it. So that's the shot. Yeah, it's an inch away. Yeah, that's what the shot's about, the cue ball. Nothing to it when you know how to do it. That's game number 14. Levin Van Boning, three strict Mr. Van Boning wins game number 14. After 14 games, the score is Mr. Van Boning, 11. Mr. Strickland, three. Six to the side. Nope. Okay, this is uh, and this is a new pitcher, isn't it? He's being merciful now, Billy. Yeah, he's uh, so far ahead, he's going to go ahead and stretch out a little bit. Oh, no, he isn't. He's he's <laughs> saying no. You dirty no, rat. No, no. Tough ball to hit, too, Billy. He hit it, though. He might play the 10 here. Yeah, he's it's got laying, a billiard. It's laying so good. He's got a billiard. He's having too much fun running out. You're right. He is. He doesn't want to win. You know, when you're in, quick. When you're in good stroke, and you, these pockets look so big, and you know... You have to speed the table down. So, therefore, you want to play. You want to run out. You're right. That's the first shot he hit poorly that I can recall. He, he overran his mark by a good, a good foot. I think he got overlaxed, Billy. He's going to probably make the eight some way. Watch. He's going to hit it with some speed and make the eight in some fashion. Might make a triple combination and make the ten. He might make nothing. Somebody in the stand should say, go get him, Earl. feel like playing what happened somebody must have said something he'd like to get in an argument with the fans right now 
<laughs> that would be like a victory. <laughs> the girl, that's it. Get that pretty girl. Pretty good shot. I think that the length of both Fran Boning's cue and Strickland's cue are comparable. Yeah. I think they both have a six inch extension on their cues. Do you know that Van that, that Strickland was the player that Van Boney modeled his game after? He modeled his stick after it too. <laughs> yeah, as he was growing up. This is the guy right here, Strickland, that Van Boning loved watch play. He loved watching Strickland play. And he actually modeled his game off off of Strickland's game. So he's playing his idol. You, you would like think he Joe would tr treat him a little bit better than this, wouldn't you think? He did, yeah. He's got way you more finesse and knowledge. That's what you think. You think it's funny because you keep talking. Oh, oh, oh. I was respectful. When, when Joe Lewis fought Marciano, he, he knocked Marciano, I mean, Marciano knocked Lewis out and he cried. Really? Is his he idol? felt bad. It was his idol. I know I don't break it. Well, Joe Lewis was a little up in age when Marcia Way was. over. He shouldn't have been yeah. fighting. Yeah. It was a sickening look. Yeah. Sort of like Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali when he, when he fought uh, Holmes. Larry Holmes. Yeah, he got really battered. Yeah. That's why he's like he is today with the Parkinson's and because he, he got beat up so bad. You know. Doesn't have that good break anymore, does he? he made the 10. He's only got to do it nine more times. <laughs> I think you're being sarcastic. Strickland wins game number 16. Uh oh. He might not ever, never get back to the table now. No. Let's let's uh, look at that equalizer, Earl making it on the break because Shane had one up on him with that. <laughs> that kissed in just like uh, Shane, ten ball when he made his on the break. It got double kissed in.
Gotta get straight in on the six. Which he did. He'll probably just draw it back for the side, knowing how well he hits these kind of shots. Watch. You notice he didn't come with the complete draw because he would have hit the seven. He's a smart pool player. This will put him on the hill. That inside English follow shot that he has no reservations about shooting. It puts him on the hill, 12 to 5. It puts him on the hill, and it puts Earl out of his misery. Van Boning wins game number 17. After 17 games, the score is Mr. Van Boning, 12, Mr. Strickland, 5. You know, Strickland's shooting a 952. You know how hard it is to shoot a 952? No, he's shooting 852. No, excuse me, uh, Van Boning, that is, I mean. Yeah. A 952. You know how hard it is to shoot a 952? Because if you, if you make one mistake, you drop pretty far down from 1,000. Yeah. Well, Bamboni is having a, a giggle here. People went, oh. They're tied up. Look at the balls. I bet he stays on the table when the match is over, Billy. He's got a bit of a problem here because he's got a pretty bad angle. Oh, he can back the eight. No, he didn't have a bad angle. I thought he would. I didn't think he could get long enough to do what he did. Might have to kick the nine out of there. He went forward. Well, he didn't get good here. That's a premature applause. Nice shot Not there. Really. That was a good, good shot there, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's because he started talking to... He was talking to Shane, by the way. Yeah. Is he going to play safe, Billy? No, he's back in it. Wait a minute. Don't be sure of that.
After 18 games, Mr. Van Boning leads the match 12 games to six. And we shouldn't be racking the balls. I don't like that. Race to 13. There's no way we should be racking. This is stupid. This doesn't make no sense. Thing don't work either. It don't work. I don't know when you could make nothing. Man, Ray has matches we couldn't make nothing. Buddy Hall years ago, in the eighties, we couldn't make nothing on the bridge. There were great matches. They come right down the hill. There. 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11. They don't see that now. You know, believe it or not, this is not an easy shot. He's got a weird angle. And he's and he, see he's got to elevate. He's got to dig out, dig down. Yeah, he's gonna be close to the two. That was a pretty good pull shot there, because what he had there was a very difficult shot. Any time the ball's hanging like that, it's tough position. But he would he had a bad angle going into the ball. Well, he overcame it. Yep. He's got another bad angle. Look, must be straight in. Yeah, look where the five is. Yeah. That was a nice stroke. Right in the side. Well, Mr. Van Boeing has cue ball in hand. I think he's got to play the eight here. Well, he's playing the five. I like playing the eight myself because you got to get that eight out of there. I think I'd get it out of there now. Now, this is a lot easier here. Playing shape off the eight to the nine. Playing shape off the six to the nine is much easier. I think it's all she wrote, Danny. I think you're right, Billy. You know, it's been a long day. And I'm sure I appreciate yeah. this fast match. Not that I wanted to see Strickland. Hold a second. Look, he's not over yet. Yeah, he got overlaxed. I guess we'll be back tomorrow. What, 11 o'clock? 12 o'clock? We'll be back tomorrow, 12 o'clock. That's probably in a little over 12 hours. No? Okay, let's take a look at at uh, what our scheduling looks like tomorrow. At 12 o'clock, we'll see the U.S. Open champion, Kevin Cheng. He'll be playing Torsten Holman. At 2.30, Darren Appleton will be playing Jason Shaw. Then at 7 o'clock, Holman comes back to play Shane Van Boning. And then at 9.30, Earl Strickland and Kevin Cheng. So we'll be back tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Try to be with try to be here, okay? We'll be back tomorrow, twelve o'clock.